Hello, welcome back to my four whole subscribers and welcome if you're new on this channel. I do things Disney, Loungefly, book stuff, um, basically any fandom you're into, I'm probably going to cover it at some point on this channel. If that's something that interests you, stick around. Today we're going to be talking about all cosplay bags that I own and because I don't I don't actually have that many cosplay bags I am going to be inserting pictures of cosplay bags that I would love to add to my collection at some point and either I haven't added them because they just don't fit into my um, budget right now or because of you know aftermarket value um, and also maybe I just haven't pulled the trigger on them um, but anyway but before I get into all of that, there's a couple of things that I want to say. I want to first give a huge happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. But also, I want to give an extra special big hug and love um, to people who, who, for women and families who are struggling with infertility um, and trying to adopt or maybe have been hitting walls with that. Um, you are in my heart and I completely understand your journey. Each of us has... Without further ado, let's get into it. Um, okay, I'm not gonna go in any order. I literally just brought my bags down and plopped them down right here next to me. So I'm just kind of going to grab and show. Um, the first one I'm looking at is my beautiful Lounge Fly Maleficent bag. I love this bag. Um, I did not start collecting the villain scene bags. I just they weren't necessarily my thing, but I did see a couple that I wanted to snag. This was one of them. The other one I want to snag, I'll insert a picture of. You can tell I didn't store her properly. So this is what can happen if you are not careful with the way that you're storing your bags, especially the ones with this like 3D applique that pops off the bag I thought I was storing her correctly too that's the disappointing thing um I had her stored away she was stuffed and I had her in a um dust bag and then I I put her inside of a tote um but yeah I guess the lid she must have not had that much room I do love the details on the backpack straps they are just a nice added feature um, and then here is the interior of the bag. One of the things I also love about this bag, I'm not sure if it's picking up on the camera, is that it's really shimmery. And girl, I love some shimmer, okay? So here's the inside of the bag. I really love the inside of the bag. Actually, I hadn't really ever paid attention to it. That's nice. Cool. <laughs> I have used this bag. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. I do sometimes use, um, I think it used to be called like a kangaroo pouch. I don't think that's what they call it anymore. But it's like a little pouch that you can stuff all your things in, like your keys, your wallet, all the things that go inside your purse, and you can just plop it into your purse and then take it out and plop it. <laughs> if I can find the commercial for the 90s, I'm pretty sure it was a 90s kangaroo pouch, I'm gonna insert it here because I think that that would be funny. Bottomless pit where you can never find what you want. Tired of missing calls because of that disorganized purse? And is changing handbags just a huge hassle? Introducing Kangaroo Keeper, the available purse insert that transforms even the most cluttered bag into a super organized bag instantly. Anyway, that is my Maleficent bag. Love her dearly, um, especially when we're feeling extra fierce. And I have the Stitch Shop Villain book outfit. Such a mouthful. Uh, so I do love to wear her with that. Um, the one that I would love to add to my collection, I just haven't done it yet, is the Ursula villain bag. So I will insert a picture here. Okay. Um, and then next, um, if you saw my first video, you know I have a deep love for Harry Potter um, just because it sparked my interest in reading and um, I just had to get this bag. Hedwig is one of my favorite characters, of course. Who doesn't love a nice white snowy owl? So beautiful. There's the pop logo. I don't buy many pop bags, but this is one I had to have. 
so cute! There's the interior. It says Poppin' Harry Potter on it and it's maroon. I also wanted to let you guys know about future videos that are going to be coming up on the channel. Um, I'm going to be doing vlog type videos where I take you around looking at some local um, comic stores that also sell lounge fly um, and I'm hoping to get in touch with a local personal shopper who would be willing to do pickups for you guys if that's something you're interested in please make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that you are um, reminded or informed anytime that those videos go up okay because um, we do have some really special comic stores around here that don't sell online so there are a lot of bags available. Okay. Here is my Marie Bigfoot bag. I actually really, 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 really love her. I think she's so cute. However, I have never used her. So I have been considering reselling her only because like, I just have so many bags in my collection that if it's not being used, um, I like to find a good home for them. This is my, I think I got this from Box Lunch. Um, yeah, but this is my um, Marie keychain. And I just thought she looked so cute here. Anyway. Next bag in my collection. Oh, I put this one in a dust cover specifically because he has white fur on him. Um, so here is, and I actually really love this guy. He is a cutie patootie. So his little ears swivel up. You can pose them. He definitely looks cuter this way, but just for the sake of protecting his ears, I like to make sure that I place them downwards. And for whatever reason, even though I place them up nine times out of 10, if I'm using this bag, definitely pops up. He has a little floral headband. Love it. I personally love the like purse style handles. I know some uh, lounge fly collectors do not love that feature because they don't hang nicely on the walls. But um, maybe one day in the channel I'll show you what my husband made for me um, that really helps hang up my purse style handbags. And I just personally think that the um, style hanger he made for me it just looks so much nicer than those um, uh, command strip hooks. Even though those things are great, I just think that the, uh, the the little hook set that he created for me just looks so elegant and beautiful and I love displaying my bags on it. So anyway, here is Thumper and uh, his puffy tail. We love it. We're here for it. Yes. Okay, moving on. Okay, the next bag that I'm going to show you, I have been waiting a very long time for it. And when I say I've been waiting a long time for it, I mean, I think I either ordered this bag um, sometime in August, September, or October. And I just got this bag um, in April. So it's been a long time. It's, I know, no secret that there have been some major production issues and also shipment has been a real struggle. We know um, merchandise has been sitting on ships. Um, so I really felt for this small shop and the whoever I was in communication with from this small shop was actually really informative and very kind and patient every time I would reach out asking about this bag and if there were any updates. I just know I was really excited about this bag because if you know me in real life, then you know I love all things Nightmare Before Christmas, especially um, around the holidays, um, Halloween time. My husband and I do a huge Nightmare Before Christmas display that's a lot of fun. We have animatronics. It's a great time. Um, we play Oogie Boogie's song and uh, kind of like on repeat. Um, so anyway, we really, 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 really love Nightmare Before Christmas and I love Sugar Skulls. So this one came together in one bag. Ah, she is stunning. I love this bag so much. It was worth the wait. For sure worth the wait. Okay. And I know a lot of channels have already even shown this bag, but that's fine. Look at it. Oh, I love the details in this bag. It did not disappoint. There is the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas um, label. 
And I know that some people get a little bit confused, but just because it says Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas doesn't mean that it's not Loungefly. It is Loungefly. Um, my guess would be that um, probably Tim Burton is just... Um, he probably has specifications when you use his characters. Um, he probably has specifications that his name has to be listed or that their um, studio has to be listed above all others. So that would be my guess. It's probably in his contract somewhere, but look at the interior. I don't know if those colors are picking up. Oh, but they are some really pretty colors in there. There's blues and purples and pinks. Um, so it's really nice. I haven't used this bag yet. Can't wait to use it. I do think it's adorable. Here is the back part of the bag. <laughs> so great. And then here are um, the like strap extenders, I guess you could call them. I'm not really sure. So great. Um, That reminds me, since I'm trying to step up my YouTube game, um, I have been watching Pixie Dust and Peaches for a long time, and Melissa over at Pixie Dust and Peaches says, um, hello, you know my uh, Pixie Dust Peaches, and um, Miss Cherry, <laughs> uh, Jesse over at Cherry's channel, or Miss Cherry's channel, she says, um, hello my little Cherry Blossom family. So. If you guys have an idea of something I should say, I would so love the support um, in coming up with something unique and catchy to say, uh, my brain doesn't work that way. So any advice you guys can give me, I would love it. Okay, <clears throat> next bag is another bag that I got <laughs> very recently. Uh, my husband is amazing. I had put myself on a bag restriction and he um, went ahead and lifted the restriction for this bag. He did buy it after market, so um, it, it, it was quite expensive, <laughs> but so cute. As you can see, it is Stitch, uh, Stitch Reading Books, which you know I'm a big book fan. I love books. So... <laughs> Um, I blame him for this one. He felt like I needed to have it, and I did. Love it. So it has a very plain back. There is the logo tag. So cute. And then here is the interior of the bag. You guys, I do have to say that, like, <laughs> even though my husband gives me a hard time and I do joke about him threatening to divorce me over these bags, he is the one who, first of all, got me started on Lounge Fly by getting me the original Dome Star Wars bags from way back in the day. In fact, I think I was looking at our our receipt from when we purchased them, and it was 2016, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, so he talks a big talk, <laughs> and I joke a lot, but um, he definitely does love to support me and my nerdum. I think I think. <laughs> I am a teacher, I promise. I believe that he thinks that I could be addicted to other things. So I think being addicted to lounge fly in his eyes, maybe not so bad. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay. Here is... Oh, this one has some shade with it. Are you ready to hear some tea about this bag? Okay, so like most of us, I had been stocking box lunch for this bag. And I follow my local box lunch on Instagram. And I remember seeing the lady post a picture of this bag, okay? Posted a picture of this bag on the Instagram feed. And then later it said sold out. So... I'm of course stocking Mercari for this bag. And what picture do I see posting this bag? The Box Lunch employee Instagram photo. I was so annoyed. And let me tell you, I am not proud of myself and I went a little bit Karen. I'm not proud of myself about it. But um, anyway, <laughs> I reached out to Box Lunch and threw a hissy fit like a toddler, you know, 
lounge fly does weird things to us. Um, so I threw a big old tantrum and was frustrated that uh, these box lunch employees were buying multiples of the bag and then selling them on Mercari for those ridiculous reseller fees, which, listen, if you are reselling a bag, no shade to you. You have the right to sell your bag for whatever you want to sell your bag for. I'm just saying I'm not going to pay it. Like I'm not going to be the person who pays $150 for a bag when I could most likely wait and it'll be re-released at some point. Um, they've shown us that they will do that even with exclusives. There is the cute, maybe if I move my finger, you'll see it better. Cute little hamper pull. Adorable. Anyway, I wasn't proud of that moment, especially like we live in a small big town where like everybody knows everybody. And so, um, especially now that they know my name when I go into box lunch over there, I feel a little embarrassed that I went all Karen on them. But anyway, I ended up getting my bag like a random restock I happened to walk in there and it wasn't for this bag it was for a different bag and I saw they had two left so I bought him so cute not proud of the story but you know it's a story <laughs> okay oh this one my husband bought me this bag um, I believe Loungefly had him on sale for a little bit, and uh, my husband does love to spoil me. He does not appreciate it when people buy things for him, but he will buy things for me all day long. So he went ahead and bought this bag for me, and he's so cute. He is super tiny. Um, there's the inside. Oh, I love it. Um, he is super tiny, so it does only fit like a wallet and um a phone um and i have like a little toiletry bag of things you know special things for ladies that i like to carry in my bags too so it didn't close when i put that in it here's how the straps attach so but it did at least snap because there's a zipper closure I don't know if you can see that zipper closure and a snap closure so when I put all those things in there it did snap but it did not zip so cute um stitch is something that I would love to grow my collection on so I'm going to insert the photo of the one that I would like right here um the one I would like to add is I would love to add that chef Stitch, I believe that's what it's called. Um, I feel like it was released as a limited edition for a, a fun con or something like that. And then another one I would really like to add to my collection is Stitch standing on his head. <laughs> um, and as of right now, I think those are the only two that I really want to add to my Stitch collection. I have another cosplay bag that I want to add, but I'll show you after I show my next one. So here is my next cosplay bag and I don't know <sighs> every bag I say is my favorite this is probably one of my favorite bags he's so cute I would wear him all day every day I just love him to pieces <laughs> I love him so much and this was a bag that I feel like I really lucked out on um, I went down to box lunch and um, it was when Miss Rona really hit full force. Uh, stores were shut down. Um, if, if they were letting us in, they were letting like one person, two people in at a time. Um, so there was a doorman. I was standing in line. There was probably, I don't know, 10 of us in line. And he was just kind of walking up and down the line asking people if they were looking for something specific and but he never got to me and then all of a sudden I think he saw I was like looking through you know the window and so he came over and he was like hey are you looking for something specific I said yes I'm looking for the Winnie the Pooh cosplay bag that has um the like uh, uh, flower headband on it and he was like oh yeah I think we might uh, um have one left so sure enough he did and so he went and grabbed it for me so I didn't have to wait in that long line and risk it like disappearing on me so, um one of the things one of the reasons i don't wear this bag often is just the nature of the the texture of the bag it's like a felt um and i think i got it smudged at one time and i was so sad i was like oh my gosh if i ruin this bag 
I just might die. <laughs> There's the interior. Like, does it get any cuter than that? Come on. So cute. And then here's the back of the bag. Um, I love the back of the bag. And when I read it to my husband, he was like, ugh. <laughs> Charming. It says how, um, wait, Piglet. Aha. Uh -huh. How do you spell love? And then Pooh says, you don't spell it. You feel it. <laughs> Stop. It's so cute. Oh. We are almost done, I promise. Okay. Ah! I forgot to show my wallet that goes with my stitch bag. Super cute. Okay, um... I think next I'll share this one. This is a bag I use. I love her. I love Princess Jasmine. I just think she's so pretty and who doesn't love Raja? Um, but if I, uh, she was an Amazon exclusive. I missed her the first couple of times that they restocked her. I believe she's still available right now. Um, but for a while there, I was really nervous. She wasn't going to be restocked and that, I, um, you know, I'm not going to pay that, um, like reseller fees. Um, but anyway, I think she's so beautiful and she goes really well with my next bag that I'm going to show. It's all so magical. Is embroidered in the back. Um, and then, the, let's see, all the inside of the bag is her silhouette sniffing a jasmine flower. So pretty. And then, of course, we love this little zipper pull. It is Raja. And again, we love Raja. I don't have the Raja bag. I would love to own the Raja bag. Um, but it's fine. I guess you can't own them all. Okay, um, the next bag I think she goes really well with. I have them displayed in the... I almost said in my classroom. No. I have them displayed in my bedroom together, and that is Winter Bell. Um, I love Winter Bell. I um this was a pink a la mode exclusive. Um she was there's her little plate. I love her texture. It's velvet. I have not used her yet just because she's clearly a winter bag. Um, even has like a little snowflake right there. It's clearly a winter bag, um, and it's oh, uh, currently summer. Well, it's spring, but anyway. Um, so, if I remember correctly, this was released for a virtual event. I don't know if the event is always virtual or if it just happened to be virtual because of um, Miss Rona and all the things going on in the world right now, but I do know you had to buy uh, tickets for this. Um, I didn't really understand how it worked at the time, so I didn't buy the tickets. So I was nervous I wasn't going to get her, um, but uh, people didn't really go for her. People went for the Winter Beast that was collected. Uh, that was released for that event so I don't think there was any winter beast or at least there wasn't any available when I went to get her um, so I think in order to get beast you had to be a part of the event um, and I'm guessing again I don't know so if you know please educate me in the comments because I have no idea um, but I believe I would think that the price of your ticket would go towards paying for the bag that's what I think. You did have to buy tickets, so that was a cost. Um, but, I mean, I would imagine that, that that cost would go towards your purchase, whatever you end up purchasing. And then if you don't end up purchasing anything, then you're just kind of, um, 
you know, out that money, whatever it costs to get the tickets. I don't know. Again, I, I like hadn't heard about this until it was a little too late. Like tickets had already been sold. They were long gone. <laughs> like I was not getting these tickets. So anyway, there's this. And then I actually did buy the things that went with it. Um, so I bought, um, the limited release winter bell and beast pins. And I bought the shoes too, so I'll insert a picture of me wearing the shoes here um, because I think that they turned out really cute. So I haven't, I have I worn them? I don't remember. Okay, and my very last bag has just a funny story behind it. <laughs> so cute. Ah, he's so cute. Okay, he just looks completely like, <laughs> so irritated. Um, but I saw they were releasing this bag and I'm going to be honest and don't come for me. Here is the wonky lace because it is a homemade dress. Um, I've seen people ask about this if this was supposed to be this way on like those Facebook groups so I did want to share that yes it is supposed to be that way it was just the design of the bag I think it's because it's supposed to be a homemade dress but anyway I saw of course on box lunches Instagram that this bag was releasing I happened to stay home sick that day not like I was sick okay and so I called and asked if I could pay for it over the phone and just do like a drop, like a pickup, like somebody could just run it out to me and drop it off in the car and I let them know I am sick. They said, well, you can't do that. You have to pay for it online and then you can, that's how we do pickups. And I was like, but it's not available online. So how, like I'm trying to be the responsible person and not come into your store sick. Um, so anyway, I knew I was negative for, you know, our fancy friend who came to visit. So I knew I was negative. Um, so I went ahead and went down there, even though I had this cold, um, and I got the bag. And I know that was really irresponsible of me, but he's so cute. So love this bag so much. Um, let's see if I can remember what it says without looking. Um, Friends don't get in your hair. What do they say? Friends never get in your hair. That's what it says. <laughs> uh, he, his attitude is just the best. And this is what I mean when I say that I think the sidekicks are probably my favorite characters. I think he was the best character in the entire movie. He is so cute and sassy and full of attitude. Anyway, I forgot to insert the picture. Um, so here is a picture of the new Tigger uh, cosplay backpack that I want. He is released for, um, uh, he was supposed to be a New Year's because it's the year of the tiger, the New Year, Lunar New Year um, bag. Uh, however, he has not come out and they said his pre-order was going to be available um, now April it was supposed to be in April and I haven't seen him pop up so if you guys have please let me know um, um, I'll put in the comments I can't off the top of my head remember the name of the um, store who's going to be carrying him because he is an exclusive to that small shop um, so I will post it in the uh, comments below so that you guys know where you can get that bag whenever the pre-order becomes available um, so yeah, let me know what, what cosplay bags are you going after? Um, I think the cosplay bags are a lot of fun. At first I wasn't into them because I felt like, well, they're super in your face, but um, I love them now. They're like the bags I kind of gravitate towards. They're the most fun. So anyway, if you enjoyed this type of a video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks guys, bye.